Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking all about Farrah Fawcett and her favorite beauty products that you can still buy today. And if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Laura. This is where I talk about all things vintage, fashion and beauty. So if you love those things, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the big red button below. Also, I started a new Instagram account for my YouTube channel. It's called Dahlia's in the Attic. I also linked that below and I would love it if you could follow me on there and also say hello. I do lots of fun, unique IGTV videos related to my channel. So please don't forget to hit that button below and check out my new Instagram. Let's jump right in and talk all about Farrah Fawcett and her favorite beauty products that you can still buy today. So Farrah Fawcett was born on February 2nd, 1947 and died on June 25th, 2009. She's an American actress of stage and screen, model and an artist. She was a five-time Emmy Award nominee and a six-time Golden Globe Award nominee. She rose to international fame when she starred as a private investigator in the first season of the television series Charlie's Angels, which aired from 1976 to 1977. Farrah Fawcett was the icon of the 1970s. Everyone looked up to her, everyone loved her hair and her beauty, and she was definitely a 1970s sex symbol. And to me, I wasn't alive in the 70s, but when I think of the 1970s, I think of Farrah Fawcett. You know, in every decade, when you think of one person, the 1970s to me is Farrah Fawcett. And Farrah Fawcett even had her own hair care line in the 70s and 80s. As and this is one of her products. This is the Lady Chic Speed Styler. And it's like your own hair dryer that has a brush set in it. And you can put like different attachments for like a comb and other things. And it also has like a steamer. So if you want to dampen your hair to create the luxur luxurious waves that she had. Because she was really well known for her hair. And I found this one on eBay. It was a reasonable price so I got it. I wanted to buy her shampoo and conditioner. She also has her own perfume, but honestly, a bottle of old shampoo from the 70s was like $80 and I had to draw the line. Um, I do have some photos of some of the vintage ads for her shampoo. And I also found this Farrah Fawcett lipstick. This is a replica of the shade she wore and it's a really beautiful pink shade. It's kind of like a frosted shimmery pink. It's very subtle, perfect for the daytime, and it definitely looks like the shade of pink she wore. I was looking at old photos and stuff, and yeah, it looks like that like kind of frosted, almost like a 1970s pink shade. I really like how it goes on, and this is um, in collaboration with Patrick Foley at Barney's New York, and he created this Farrah Fawcett lipstick. It's a sheer glossy formula. And it's a pink shade that Farrah Fawcett loved to wear. It's a limited edition, but you can still get it. I'll link it below. And it has it is made with the finest ingredients, so it's paraben-free, cruelty-free, vegan, and gluten-free. Yeah, I love this shade. I also like kind of the advanced inspiration of the silver packaging. So yeah, I highly recommend this lipstick. It's really nice for a daytime look. It's kind of like a shimmery lightweight pink and also I can feel how moisturizing it is on my lips with all the added oils and vitamin E. So I highly recommend this lipstick, especially if you are a Farrah Fawcett fan. Go into some of her favorite perfumes. So she had two scents. The first scent that she wore came out in 2004. So she wore this kind of at the last few years of her life because she passed away in 2009. And this is a Donna Karen New York Be Delicious uh, fragrance and this one is inspired by New York's Big Apple. When I spray this perfume, honestly, you know when you think of, it reminds me of the early 2000s when it came out. I had other perfumes from this time period. It reminds me of something that I wore in high school. I think I had a Ralph Lauren perfume in a blue bottle that smelled similar. So it kind of just has that early 2000s scent to it that was popular. It's kind of interesting. Um, I don't mind it. It's very fresh and kind of sweet. It has grapefruit, cucumber, and magnolia as the top notes. The heart notes are apple, 
white nougat, rose, violet, and tuberose. And the base notes are white amber and woods. So yeah, it is a really nice, fresh fragrance, but it definitely is a little dated because it reminds me of the early 2000s, but I guess they're kind of having a comeback, the early 2000s for fashion and whatnot. So yeah, I quite like this. And this is a fragrance that she wore towards the end of the, her life because it did come out in 2004. And the next fragrance that she wore was Giorgio Beverly Hills. So this was a very popular fragrance in the 1980s. Basically this fragrance defined the 1980s. The brand um, was founded by Fred and Gail Heyman in 1961. It is named after a luxury boutique whose sunny yellow and white stripe awning inspired the perfume's packaging. So the striped yellow and white is kind of which inspires see this packaging here. And it became one of the, it is one of the most iconic fragrances of the 1980s. And this fragrance was launched in 1981. The fragrance was perfectly suited for the kind of glamorous over the top 1980s. In 1987, this fragrance was sold to Avon for an astounding 165 million. This is interesting too, so does Avon, because you can't buy this perfume on Avon, but I guess Avon owns this perfume now, so I didn't know that either, which is interesting, but I don't hate the fragrance. Once it kind of settles, it kind of reminds me, it has like a bit of like a fresh floral scent, it kind of reminds me of like a, I don't know, I smell like daffod, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's actually not that bad. Um, the bottle's kind of unique too. And I like the scripted font. So Farrah Fawcett loved this perfume as well. That is it for Farrah Fawcett. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you know anything else about Farrah Fawcett, anything that wasn't featured, I also love to know your thoughts and if you're a fan of Farrah Fawcett. All right, I'll see you guys again next week. Bye.